Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I want to thank you for all coming out tonight, um, this, ap this evening. And uh, this is a momentous occasion for North Village Community Club and also for this community at large. Uh, we are opening up the Education Center, and this is extremely important for our young people as we tr try to build a, a better future for our children moving, moving forward. Uh, but I would like to ask the immediate past president of North Fish Community Club, Mr. Sherman Deal, to come forward to just uh, grace us with a blessing of prayer. Good afternoon, everyone. Shall we bow our heads? Dear Father God, we give thanks for your many blessings. We're thankful for the blessings that you continue to bestow upon the family of the North Village Community Club. And we ask for your guidance as we move forward in our journey. We ask for your blessings upon the building that we've just installed here and that you direct our paths and everything that we do will be to your honor and your glory. We ask for these blessings in the name of your son, Jesus, and for his sake. Amen. 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 Thank you, Mr. Deal. Um, now I would kindly ask Mr. Governor George Ferguson if he can kindly come forward to say a few words. This is meant for me, obviously. <laughs> well, thank you. The sooner they get on with cutting this ribbon, frankly, the better. Um, we won't have to do this limbo thing. Um, Shadow Minister, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'd like to congratulate North Village. It's an incredibly enterprising outfit. Uh, not quite last time I was here, but uh, a couple of times ago that I was here, it was to see the four coaches from Rangers in Glasgow uh, doing the program last year, uh, which was really uh, testing the young members of North Village in their football skills, taking them uh, beyond their comfort zone and they were enjoying every bit of it. And they quite impressed the coaches too. Uh, and the two expeditions now to Glasgow uh, to follow up with that coaching is one example of the, uh, of, of the pushing the boundaries. Not all that many clubs like this do that sort of thing. I hope more will, uh, and not necessarily going to Glasgow, but uh, being imaginative. And this is another example of that imagination in a different area. Filling the gap between uh, sports training, school, enabling it to be easier for young people to link their schoolwork and their, uh, their sporting activities, encouraging anyone to do more out of school work has to be really good news for the whole community. And as Neighbours of ours at Government House in this bit of Pembroke, we are very pleased to have this neighbourly relationship and I'm very pleased to be able to be here. I won't say anything more except congratulations to everyone who's got uh, this project this far, including sponsors, and good luck to everyone who is going to be using it as either a mentor or especially the people who are going to be doing their homework in this building. Well done, congratulations. We kindly ask back that, under uh, the rope. Back under the rope, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we kindly ask that Mr. Uh, Michael Meeks, Shadow Minister of Community and Sport, if you would kindly come forward to grace us with a few words. A few words. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm done. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Um, first of all, I want to thank the president for um, inviting me here today. And not only to be a part of this um, ribbon cutting, but also I know his commitment to the youth and how long you've been doing it. So um, congratulations and stick with it. To the um, executive, to the coaches, to the parents, I want to say congratulations because I have long roots too in the North Village community. My run deep, so I know what it takes to make to make a club like North Village, the community and the football program strong. And this is why I think you've always been successful and I just encourage you to grow from strength to strength. To the children, to our young boys and girls, I want to tell you to take advantage of this opportunity. This is a great thing because this is what has made North Village strong. Not only is it a football and sports program, it's a community-based program 
So children, when you come here, come to do your homework, come to learn, come to study hard, not only on the field, but come here do your homework so you could be well-rounded individuals. Because we need you out in our community, not only as athletes, but we need some scholars. But now I, I'll be remiss if I don't am like this. Those of you that know, I am the Vice President of Western Stars. <laughs> so, I have to say this for last, don't chase me out of the park. <laughs> but um, what I want to say, children, on a serious note, study hard, train hard, work hard, and when you get on the field, play hard, because then the time is coming. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, and congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Beats. <laughs> if I can kindly ask, uh, I, 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 I couldn't say enough. I think the, if you took enough pictures, this says it all. Uh, Mr. Jim Butterfield and Butterfield and Vallis, uh put a lot towards our vision, uh, our, our, our insight on, on what we need needed for our children. And it's clear that it's very important that, that we do these things go going forward and continue to um, work on divisions and do the best things for our future and not just here for the here and now. So Mr. Butterfield, first of all, I want to thank you publicly uh, for <laughs> Butterfield and Ballas doing what they're doing for not just the North Village, but if you take a look around and look at the number of things that Butterfield and Ballas do with the, within the community, um, it, it, goes, it goes without saying. So um, first of all, thank you. And if you could kindly say a few words, sir. <clears throat> Thank you, Stephen, and good evening. I will also, like the governor, Your Excellency, Shadow Minister, good evening. I will also, like the governor, be brief. Um, I'm always sorry that there's not 200 people here, because I represent Butterfield and Vallis, and they're proud to be part of the community and to do the things we do. We share it with all of them, I assure you. Um, I can tell you briefly my North Village story. It doesn't last that long, but Chantel and Stephen came to see me about a year, year and a half ago, and, and they talked about this idea of this building and that building, which I knew at the time was over there. And I was pretty sure that Dennis Correa, who's standing somewhere around here, Dennis? Uh, yeah, Dennis, yeah. I was pretty sure that once they picked those buildings up, Dennis would say, look, I'm going straight to the airport. I'm taking them to the dump. Because th these things are not going to be suitable for classrooms and, uh, and, uh, and a clubhouse. I then came by here several times during the construction of this, and I got to hand it to Dennis and his team, the Korea construction guys. They say you can't make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. I think they did just that here. When I walk in and see what they've done, you know, it's the vision. I was talking to Chantel about 20 minutes ago. I said, well, who's kind of the visionary? Who, who sees all this stuff with a ladies' basketball court up there and all that sort of stuff? She was honest. She said, well, I talk a lot, but Stephen is kind of visionary. So I guess I just want to say to North Village, to the kids, you owe an awful lot. Maybe thank a coach or thank a parent sometime because it's the visionaries that drive things like this. It's the young adults with the energy that these, I don't know all the administration or management of North Village. What I'll tell you as an outsider, it sure is impressive. And when you walk in, you will see two small holes in the floor, and Chantel already has that floor ordered because she got that out of us too, out of the Butterfield and Ballas team. So it, it doesn't go unnoticed, believe me. To all North Village, to the players, and to the members, to the parents that keep this thing going, I hope Butterfield and Ballas can keep our association for a long, long time because if each business supports each club, then you guys, the future leaders of Bermuda, you've got a great environment to look into. And I just want to thank all of you for that. Thank you. I, I understand I'm going to be handed a pair of scissors, but Spencer, there's no free lunch. I'd like to bring Spencer forward to do the ribbon cutting, because to me, this is about a next generation thing. Guys like me, I'm not over the hill, but I'm well up on the side and I can see from the top. So. Maybe if my son Spencer, who is now working with us at Butterfield and Vallis, yeah. along with Stephen, would cut the ribbon, and then I guess Chantel, we're all going inside to have a look. Or... The wonderful thing about looking inside, I think, is every time they mention to a business or to a person, more stuff gets donated. Believe me, we were only responsible for the shell. 
most of it is all donated from from people that support North Village. Um, thank you very kindly all for coming out. You guys. Yeah. Yeah. Ready? All right. Ready. There's an old African proverb that says it takes a village to raise a child. Today, the Department of Youth Sport and Recreation is proud and privileged and we salute the North Village Community Club on the opening of their education center. To the President, Mr. Stephen Coddington, and to his executive, we say congratulations and we look forward to many good things coming from out of the North Village Community Club. Many more good things. I just like to tell a quick interesting story. Uh, about a gentleman by the name of Damon Wade who's came up through the North Village ranks. Damon is a peer of mine who at his height of his career was one of Bermuda's best footballers. Damon had the opportunity to go overseas to try out for professional teams but he chose the path of going away to college on a full scholarship because he wanted to get his education and he always said that Upon getting his education, he could come back and then pursue a professional career. Damon is now successfully a successful engineer and owns his own company. Uh, there are many other products that come out of the North Village camp. Persons like John Tay Smith, uh, Rye Simmons, that quickly come to mind. And of course, the most notable one, uh, Mr. Sean Goder, whom we, we all know very well. And, and David Bascom as well. Thank you very much. But the point I'm getting at is that education and football go hand in hand and with this youth center here this education center uh, the youth of North Village and the community of, of North Village will be able to better enhance their skill sets to be come back and become productive citizens of Bermuda and Department of Youth and Sports congratulations once again and wish you all the best of luck thank you thank you Mr. Hey. <laughs> yes, bro. well operationally what we've done is we've ensured that we have individuals to make sure this program is uh, successful, that it works, and it's ongoing. So we've already have the, we have the program set up in place. Whereas we have two um, teachers from the Barclay Institute, um, they are going to be involved. Um, Tanisha and Shalane Dill, um, they're going to be involved in running the education program alongside the co-chairs of the educa uh, education committee, Rashima Swan, a principal at Whitney Institute, and Zulima Bean, who's also an educator. Um, we will make sure that these, um, this education center is functional and operational. I would hope that this would be a, a guiding light for other um, uh, clubs such as ourselves so they can also um, do things of this nature. As you can see, it's, a, it's, it's not like a grandiose space, but it is something that's very functional and is, and, and is, and is well put together and it's going to be something that we, um, others can... We don't mind sharing the blueprint per se. So hopefully this becomes something that everyone can share in. We have very good relationships with uh, clubs such as um, Social Club, um, The Boulevard, uh, Devonshire Cougars, even Dendy Town. Um, I know that Social Club has an um, education program and PHC also have an educational program. Um, so. We, there are a number of clubs that are doing these things, um, and it should be, it'll be a good thing for every community because Bermuda is only so big. For, it's going to benefit all of us if we can all improve that side of our, of the, of our administration. Uh, we need to improve our education. We need a, it's all about our children and who's coming next, and the, and the next thing is not about the here and now.